Hello and welcome to CodeDevelop. In this video, I am going to show you how to create a dictionary app using an API call that not only gives the definition and example of the searched word, but also the pronunciation. Encore. If you are new to React Native, I would also suggest you to check out my other tutorials like the Pedometer app or the To-Do List app, which are more beginners friendly. And then you can come back to the dictionary app. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. The first thing that I'm going to do is put an image in the background. Next, I'm going to drop the image into my app folder and then add some styling to it. I'm going to set the resize mode to cover so that it covers the entire screen. Next, I'm going to give the path of the image by using the props source. Here, I'm going to write down the name of my image. Since this image background component is enclosed within this view, the last thing I need to do is to delete these things. And there you go. The first step is done. Next, I want some image here at the top that is uh, something related to dictionary and goes well with the theme. So for that, I'm going to use the image component and then use it to display that image. First, I'm going to enclose this inside a parent view component. And using the source props, I'm going to give the path of the image. Next, I'm quickly going to use the flex property so that this particular image covers only 20% of the screen. Finally, I'm going to style this image as well. Width, I'm going to set it to 80%. Height, I'm going to set it to 120 because I want it to be a little bit longer than the parent view component. Then I'm going to give some margin left to it. Finally, I'm going to give margin top and that I'm going to set it to 30 and then let us just add it. Next, we need the text input component for entering the texts. That is the word that we are going to search in the dictionary app. I'm going to create one more parent view and style it as flex 80% because that is going to cover 80% of the screen. And here I'm going to create one more view component for styling purpose of the text input box. This actually I'm going to use later on. For now, let us just create the text input component, add some placeholder and placeholder text color, and of course some styling. For styling, first of all, I'm going to give it a label called as input box, then add it to the component. I'm going to start by giving it some width and height to 50 and then border width. I'm going to set it to 5, border color, margin top to 100 and finally font size to 25. Next, I'm going to use the parent view component that I created just a while ago for setting the main axis to center as well as the cross axis to center. Next, I'm going to use some more props like text align to align the texts entered in the center. Next, I'm also going to add a clear button so that there is an option to clear the input that I enter. As you can see, when I'm typing something, the clear button is clearly visible and that can be used for clearing out the input. Next, I'll be using the use state hooks to store the words that we enter using the text input component. For now, I'm going to set it to empty state. Next, I'm going to create a function which is going to take the entered word, which is any word that we enter over here, and then it is going to store it inside this new word. Set new word and entered word. Now this function that I have created that is search word has to be called on every keystroke change in the text input component. So for that I'm going to use the props of on change text and call our function here. Also I'm going to create a two-way binding between the use state and the text input component using the value props. All set. Now let us test it. So, so far it's going good. Now let us move on to the next step. For the next step, I'm going to create three buttons using the touchable opacity component.
the first and the second button is going to contain some texts like go and clear however the third button is going to contain some image the reason i have used this image component here is this app is going to have some pronunciation feature as well so an image button is going to look much more better than plain text So this speaker button of course needs some styling. I'm going to set the width as 50 and height as 40. Let us go ahead and add it here. Next I'm going to design the other two buttons as well as the button text. You can always use my style sheet from my blog to speed up the coding process. I have put the link to that in the description box below. Next I want these buttons to come in the row format rather than a column one. So I'm going to style the parent view component and set the flex direction to row. Justify content to space between and some width margin top and margin bottom. Something is off about the output here. Uh, the width is too much so I'm going to change the width of the buttons from 80% to 